Hi, my name is Paul Doolin and I am the Mental Performance Coach at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. Uh, I get asked a lot about pressure. Uh, how do I deal with pressure? And, and pressure is an interesting topic because uh, when the question is, you know, how do I deal with it? I think a better question is, how do I reduce how, the amount that I create for myself? Because really when you think about it, pressure, it comes from setting goals we don't control. So for example, if I say to someone, you know, go out and win a tournament or hit a good shot. The response to that is typically going to be pressure because you really can't guarantee whether or not that happens. And that's not to be, you know, a fatalist and be negative thinking. It's the fact is that you, there, there's a lot about golf we don't control, and, and including, you know, our ability to consistently swing the club perfectly. That we can't do that. But if I say prepare well for this shot, make a good decision that's within your skill set and that you can execute consistently most of the time. Um, pick a clear target on the, on the fairway. Um, make sure you collect the correct yardage. Those are types of things that I, I suggest to people that you, you judge yourself against that rather than the actual outcome of the shot. Of course the outcome of the shot, the outcome of the tournament, that's of interest to us. That's something that we have an impact on and we hope goes well. But if you really focus on and, and, and actually extract a sense of satisfaction from, you know what, I worked really hard preparing for the tournament, I, I did a really good job preparing for every shot, what will happen is the amount of pressure will, will reduce. And, and in, in line with that, that requires that accountability is, is increased. In other words, the more accountable we become for the, doing the things we do to prepare for tournaments, rounds and shots, the, the less pressure we'll feel if we value that the, the actual uh, execution of the controllable things. If we value those as much as we do the outcome, that helps a ton because what else can you do except what you can do? And I know that that sounds a little bit like, well, you know, you have to do everything you can, but that's it. You, you can't control whether or not the outcome actually it gets produced or not. And, and ironically, this is the, the mindset of the best professionals that I've ever worked with, that they really are massively accountable to be prepared and do everything they can to do so. And they hope, sure, they hope for the outcome, but they don't necessarily hold themselves accountable for the outcome as much as they do the preparation. So for me, that's a really important concept to, to learn early for junior golfers. And I hope this helps you guys all get yourself into a place where you can practice this. It's a skill that you have to work on. But if, you, if you're consistent with it and you really let this sink in, I, I've never seen people not improve at this and, and actually reduce the, the pressure they place on themselves and replace it actually with a sense of fulfillment that they did their job.